Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your Bitcoin wallet using the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. So let's get started. Okay, so I had a few of my users ask me about these types of issues. Uh, how do I get to my Bitcoin wallet when I forget my password? Uh, how do I restore my Bitcoin wallet when my computer crashes? Uh, these sort of things can happen and uh, it's a horrible experience I'll tell you that I've lost bitcoins before I've lost ether tokens before and it's not a good feeling so uh, I want to help you avoid those kind of things so I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, focusing on backing up your bitcoins and your uh, Electrum Bitcoin wallet so here's my user let's see here yeah, uh, Yeremiah Micaiah is the one that asked this question. Uh, okay, uh, once Electrum is installed on Windows 10 and Bitcoins are saved, can you please create a video on what to back up and how to back up the private keys, the seed, and everything else to Electrum that needs to be back up in case the PC crashes or is lost? Uh, so once again, I'd like to thank you for watching my videos and thank you for posting a question. I love questions and comments they inspire me to do new videos so let's get going I'm gonna launch the Electrum Bitcoin wallet here and uh, I would like to refer you to some of my previous videos that instruct you on how to install the Electrum Bitcoin wallet okay you'll notice that, that wallet was protected by a password that's the default. Uh, it's pretty risky not to protect your uh, Bitcoin wallet with a password. That means anyone with access to your computer can access your Bitcoins. And so the first thing I'll say is please don't forget your passwords. Uh, you know, we're all grown ups here. And yes, we all forget our passwords sometimes. But this is not your, your kid's Minecraft account. This is not your Twitter or your Facebook account. Those types of things can, you can reset the password. It's not that difficult, okay? But the Bitcoin wallet is different, okay? There's no mechanism to reset the password. You can't send an email or, or something like that. So you wanna make sure you don't forget your password. Write it down, put it in a safety deposit box, stick it in a, a safe, whatever you gotta do, so that if push comes to shove and you can't remember, you got something to refer to. Now, uh, what I like to do, and I'll uh, give a quick shout out to these developers. This is a great little app called Mirage. Um, <laughs> pardon me. Mirage X is how I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn on my screen mirroring here. Okay. So the app that I'm talking about is 1Password. Okay, and here it is up here. 1Password is a great app that you can use to store all of your passwords. So I'll launch it here. And as you can see, uh, you can create a long master password that uh, you can, uh, you, you have to write that down and store it somewhere, but it can be really long and hard for anyone to guess, uh, practically impossible, you know, using modern cryptography. And then you can enable touchscreen uh, touch ID so that you can use your fingerprint to get into it. Isn't that cool? Okay, so then you can uh, list all of your passwords here and as you can see I think I've got 126 different uh, login accounts saved in here. And this is the cool thing uh, when you create a new um, account, let's say we'll call this test and we give it an email Okay, and then it will generate a password for you, you know, uh, a nice password, and you can adjust how long it, wa it will be, and, uh, you know, whether it uses special characters, um, how much, how many numbers, how many symbols. Uh, this is really a great tool to create strong passwords and save them and remember them. Okay, and then also, uh, I don't know if I save that guy. Okay.
I will QRST. Yeah, I guess I didn't. So I'll do my Toys R Us. The nice thing about that is you can tap here and then uh, you can copy it so that you can paste it in somewhere else uh, or you can uh, hit large and now see this is nice because the the letters are in white and the numbers are in blue and the symbols are in uh, you know pink so that it makes it easy to see exactly what this password is when you're trying to type it in somewhere else enough about passwords guys I'm going to disconnect this guy all of that is wonderful stuff Okay, so that's the first lesson in backing up your Bitcoin. Don't forget your password. Okay, so I'm going to create a brand new wallet. Let's do new. And we're going to call this uh, Crypto Dad. Whoops. Ah, pooey. Crypto Dad Test. Alrighty. And we'll hit next. And we'll just make this one a standard wallet. We're going to create a new seed. Okay, so here we go. Here's the first thing we need to do to back up our wallet. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to create a... Let me put this in here. Sorry. In the uh, Electrum wallet, I'm going to create a new text document and we'll call this one uh, test seed yeah. crypto dad just to make you want to make sure uh, if we uh, make it meaningful so that it's obvious which seed belongs to which wallet your life will be much easier if you have a, a bunch of uh, a folder full of uh, files called seed one seed two and seed three then you'll be trying to figure out which seed went to which wallet. Okay, so we're going to paste this guy in here. And we're going to save. Okay. Now, uh, we'll move to the next. Where were we here? Okay. And then they want you to retype that seed. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut and paste from over here. So, okay, and then uh, we're going to create our password. Okay, now it has generated a Bitcoin address for us. Now, let's take a look at this guy over here. This is our seed. Now, uh, there's a couple of things we can do to this. Let's try this. We don't want to necessarily cut and paste it every time. Let's see if I can. Uh, we're going to bold this guy up. Uh, let's. There we go. We can even do uh, some of this here, right? Make it obvious, you know. And then we'll call this uh, Electrum. Bitcoin wallet seed uh, wallet name okay today November 6 2017 all right now this I'm gonna print out that always seems to happen but then it prints anyway it's uh, just between me and my printer right now I think I heard it will it will it won't well maybe it won't print but anyway, uh, we print this guy out like this. It's nice, neat, clean, readable, 
and uh, we put it in a folder, we stick it in a safety deposit box, and we use this seed to restore uh, our wallet in case of uh, tragedies of any kind. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So how would you do that, you say? How would you indeed do that? Well, uh, over here we've got File, Restore, and uh, this is, a, it just generated a new wallet. Uh, okay, so we can rename the wallet if we need to restore from seed. We could call it the exact same thing that we did the last time. Uh, you know, this field is editable. Uh, right now I have the wallet in here, so it would uh, give me an error if I tried to type the same word. But let's say this was a clean, fresh install of Electrum Bitcoin wallet. We go here, we say standard wallet, and we say I already have a seed. And then we uh, type in that seed and click next. And lo and behold, it restores the wallet. Now, this is interesting, and I always found this interesting. When you create this seed, uh, it's an empty wallet. You can see there's nothing in it. You know, it's got a balance of zero. So my first instinct would say, well, let's say I've thrown in, you know, 50 Bitcoins. I'm a mega millionaire and uh, I lost my Bitcoin wallet and I'm restoring from seed. Wouldn't that seed, the moment I created that seed, the wallet was empty. Wouldn't that restore an empty wallet? But no, it doesn't that wallet is pointing to a Bitcoin address. So if you've added Bitcoins, moved Bitcoins out, moved Bitcoins in, hey, that wallet is still going to work, okay? You're still going to see the current balance of that wallet when you restore from a seed. So that's why the seed is so important because that will allow anyone with that seed to gain access to that wallet from anywhere in the world. All they have to do is install the Bitcoin wallet and restore from seed either on startup or after they've uh, set up their standard wallet. So that's why it's very important not to let anyone see that seed. And that's why I'm not going to put any Bitcoins in this wallet because uh, I've exposed it online. Okay, so that's the seed. Okay, and you can always get back into your wallet. How about another way to back up your wallet? Well, you can also do Let's see here, save copy. Uh, let's not, it's like what I do. Hmm, I thought there was an export option. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Hmm? Ah, yes, here we are. So we can take the private keys of this wallet and do an export. Okay, we need to remember the password of the wallet to do this. All right, and then it goes through here. And once again, uh, it's going to expose all of the private keys of the wallet when I do this. So uh, don't show your friends while you're doing this. Okay, and then down here, it's got uh, the private keys uh, CSV file and you can see where it's uh, gonna store it. It's gonna store it in my user folder. Uh, let's see, will it allow me to change it? Yeah, uh, we can change that. We can put it, uh, let's put it on the desktop. Okay, and save. Uh, okay, I just changed my uh, path there and then we hit export and bam, the private keys just got exported. Okay, now uh, here we go. Uh, you can see it up here. It's a, an Excel file, it's a CSV. Um, and so if you just open it up, you can see all these private keys in Excel. Excel's opening over here, what the heck. All right, so we've got the address and the private key associated with it. And you can use this uh, backed up private key to restore a wallet as well in times of uh, emergency but in this case you know you want to save this uh, you can save this on a flash drive and keep it in a secure place and uh, the, the the con of this method is you have to remember the password okay for the seed you don't need the password when you restore from seed 
you get your Bitcoin address back and then you can create a new password and uh, you're good to go. So the seed is a good one if you forget your password and you just want to, you know, uninstall, reinstall clean, restore from seed. You have access to the Bitcoin wallet. Now the private key is nice because you don't have to type in that whole seed. You just have to remember your password. So when you restore uh, private keys into a wallet, um, you'll just have to remember the password. And uh, there's a way uh, for, to for, with this file to uh, bring those uh, the private keys that the bitcoins associated with those keys into a different wallet as well. So uh, there's lots of ways to back up your Electrum Bitcoin wallet, and these are some of the major ways. And I showed you also you can save a copy of the wallet somewhere else, and uh, if you save a copy of the wallet then uh, with Electrum Bitcoin wallet you can just open the wallet so uh, even let's say I save a copy and I call it backup and I store it in uh, this particular folder here okay we can close this uh, we can open Electrum In this case we would choose now uh, this is the backup that I just created which is basically just a copy of the crypto dad test but uh, let's say you've backed up your wallet uh, onto a flash drive and you're on a brand new computer or you've reformatted your computer or bought a new hard drive or whatever the case may be and you just want to open the wallet in Bitcoin in uh, Electrum uh, you can do it this way you just choose open Bam. And of course, you'll need the password again. All right. And then you would have access to all the Bitcoins that you had stored in that wallet. Uh, it's the exact same wallet. It's just got a different name uh, than the one we, we created at the beginning of the video. But you would have access to all of those Bitcoins. And that's a real simple way uh, to restore. But remember, for uh, the backup copy and the private key, uh, saving the private key, you're going to have to remember that password. Otherwise, this is all for naught. If you back up with the seed and then restore from seed, it would create a brand new wallet, but it will still point to the exact same Bitcoin address where you were storing whatever Bitcoins you may have had in there. So that's it, gang. Let's uh, wrap up this video. I hope I didn't go too long. I hope the video was helpful. Uh, I, I don't wish anyone out there to lose any of their Bitcoin. So take the proper precautions with your Bitcoin wallet. Back up, back up, back up. Store your password in a safe place. Don't forget it. All that good stuff. So once again, I'd like to thank my user for uh, requesting the video, Yeremiah Micaiah. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be alerted every time I post a new video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for everyone's support. Uh, Crypto Dad out.